This is Dr. Phil Chavez. The church of San Damiano is within a monastery just outside the walls of Assisi, the older part of it anyways. Now, according to medieval documents, this small chapel existed in about 1030. It, is, it was an ancient property of the Benedictine Fathers. Now, the church has a single nave, which I'm in right now, with an apse decorated in frescoes depicting Jesus and the Madonna and two patrons of Umbria, that is San Damiano and San Rufino. Now, the chapel, as you can see in the back, hosts a wood choir dating back to the 14th century. And on the arch above the apse is a copy of the crucifix of San Damiano, the one which actually spoke to St. Francis at that spot. Now, as is commonly known, in 1205, St. Francis heard the exhortation from Christ in this church from that cross above. He was out in the countryside meditating and inspired to enter this rundown church of San Damiano, kneeling in prayer before the crucifix, feeling deep consolation, fixing his eyes to the cross. He heard an interior voice descending from the cross saying three times, Francis, go and repair my church, which you have seen is all in ruins. Now moved to obey, he commenced repairing the church only to realize the deeper meaning that Jesus meant the renewal of the wider church he established on earth. Now the original San Damiano cross that spoke to St. Francis currently hangs in the Basilica of St. Clair of Assisi, not far from here. Unique about this cross are images of saints and other people who were related to our Lord's crucifixion. Christ appears on this cross not to be suffering, but opens his arms in a gesture of hope. At the very top of the cross is the hand of God with two fingers extended to be understood the blessing of God, the Father, upon the sacrifice of his Son. At the base of this cross, somewhat hard to see, are six saints, which are patrons of Umbria. Its Byzantine style is not uncommon in this period. In any case, the Franciscans regard this cross as a symbol of their mission to commit their lives and resources to the rebuilding and the renewal of the church. Now, after the appearance, a monastery at this site by St. Francis, this little chapel, a monastery was built and a convent that became the, uh, the home of the Order of St. Clair and her followers in 1212. Now, Francis also stayed here during a long illness in 1225, and here he composed the Canticle of the Son. Now, the sisters left not so long after Claire's death in 1253, believing that the site was endangering their safety. It was exchanged with the cans of San Rufino for the chapel of San Giorgio, upon which they built this Basilica of St. Clair, which still stands today. Now, a fresco in the refectory walls you can find here recounts the visit of St. Gregory the Ninth, who asked Claire to bless the loaves. According to a legend, crosses appeared on those loaves. Upstairs, St. Clair's Oratory is where the Blessed Sacrament was kept and is next to this dormitory. There's a cross in that dormitory which marks where St. Clair died on the 11th of August, 1253. Outside also is a statue of St. Clair with a monstrance she's holding high, which she presents before the invading Saracens, effectively halting their advance. Again, we're here at the church and monastery of San Damiano, Incredible place with some amazing history. God be with you.